we are a team innovation architects. A smart city is a city that offers convenient life by using new technology to connect people and systems. Smart cities also demand new technologies that produce energy in an eco-friendly way. Energy harvesting is the process in which in which energy is captured from a system's environment and converted into usable electric power. We spent the night thinking about using energy harvesting to produce electricity and eventually came up with it. It is a way of using piezoelectric elements. The structure in piezoelectric elements it isn't symmetrical, but they still exist in an electrically neutral balance. However, if we apply the pressure to the elements, its structure deforms and converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. So we wanted to use the power produced by energy harvesting to illuminate the lights. That night, we were watching the news and saw the news that there was a deadly accident due to a speed bomb. We realized that speed bombs to prevent accidents can actually cause human accidents, <laughs> and we came up with a new one that can produce energy while reducing accidents. First, we did an experiment to see if piezoelectric devices could generate electricity. As you can see in this video, we've identified that it can generate electricity. If you combine a high-performance capacitor you can store the power generated and use it to light three lights. We thought that the biggest role of the speed bump was to give drivers a visual warning and slow them down. As can be seen in this article, it is suggested that the speed bumps better endanger motorcyclists and that speed bump should only have visual effects. We can easily identify the car thrown by the speed in daily life. We thought we can reduce accidents if the speed pump maintains its form and the height becomes equal to the ground when the load is applied. So we decided to use a spring. However, as you can see, the spring had difficulty supporting the module. P is pressure, F is force, and A is the cross section. According to this equation, we thought that a big surface of spring can sustain the bump stably. We embodied this mechanism in our prototype by folding the paper tightly and making a replacement that is stronger and more elastic than spring. A piezoelectric element was installed under the bump and then a spring secure sweet bump was installed. And our first prototype is done. Why first? Because there was a problem with this prototype. In the case of a car, the load was evenly transmitted to the bump, no matter how it passed through the bump. But in the case of a motorcycle, there was only one wheel back and forth, so if it passed the over the end of the bump, the load was not evenly transmitted to the bump. Due to this problem, significant electricity may not be produced. We made a second prototype that solved the problem. The bump is set made of several modules, but we faced Another problem that the paper screen cannot support is stably. We changed the form of the paper screen that can support each module stable. We finally came up with a final prototype that solved the problem. It has been improved to operate the bump even when the motorcycle passes by configuring the bump with several modules. This is how our idea works. Our new speed bump you know, built-in piezoelectric element generates electricity 24 hours a day. The electricity produced in this way is stored in an energy storage system. The stored electricity is used to light street lights in the dark nights. Our speed bump can reduce accident because when the load is applied, its height becomes equal to the ground. Whatever the type of vehicle is, the speed bump can work properly. In addition, if it is manufactured as a module and needs maintenance in the future, it has the advantage of being able to replace only the parts that need repair, not the entire bump. We strongly believe that our new speed bump can contribute to sort of energy 
an environmental problem in smart cities. This is just one way, just the one way for us to deal with the energy problem. As we made this technology, we believe that you can also make an innovation with creative ideas. Thank you for listening.